Hey y'all, it's the Costume Jeweler. We're in Spring, Texas, and we are going into the Antique Gallery Mall. So y'all know I'm on my road trip from Florida to Texas, giving y'all a video. So don't forget to like, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell, click all, so you don't miss out on my live buy nows and auctions. Purses, jewelry, knickknacks, whatnots, doodads, and trinkets on my channel. Those are pop-ups, as well as those daily video uploads, such as this one. Don't forget to subscribe. And thumbs up for this video so 85,000 square feet I'm gonna take y'all through as much of this as I can and then we're gonna go to the next store 225 dealers there is your address or not the address but the phone number but again spring Texas 225 dealers let's go in here and check it out see what we can find maybe for the Airbnb maybe for resale don't know what they're gonna have look at this cool old car y'all a new yorker one long building i'm gonna give y'all at least an hour hopefully in here we will see because i do not edit my videos what you see and what you hear and what you get in a video is what you get so the only editing i do is stop and go if you don't want to see me pushing a cart which i don't think you do then I'll stop the video until the next booth. But I'm excited about this place. It's one of the Texas largest. <coughs> so this is Texas largest antique store. So we're gonna get through as much of it as we can. Look how beautiful this bed's set up. I'm taking a picture of that. I may have to use that idea at the Airbnb. How cute is this? This antique store is nearly as big as the Canton Flea Market. Nearly as big as the Canton, Texas Flea Market. Being a little bit. $23.98 for that beautiful cabinet. Look through here at some pieces, look at furniture. Let's see if there's anything. Let's see if there's anything that can't live without some Dooney and Burks back here. Look at this one though, y'all. Wow. Look at that. It's gorgeous. That leopard print. wonder what that leopard print Dooney's worth. Hull Pottery. H-U-L-L. -L. It's always amazing to me all these fabulous pieces that people are finding. And able to get such a good deal on those that they can pass on a, a good deal to us as well. Talk about grouping some rhinestones. This first pink set right here is $850, or $800. This set right here is $450. The orange is $350. And then the blue one is $350. Down here looks like it might be some whiting in Davis. Not for sure on that. But looking like it may be, oh wow, well, like this lion head bracelet. Harley Davidson bag. Kendra Scott's what that's looking like. 25 on those. Bows and heads. 85 or $35 each. I bought some of those a few days ago at a at a um, thrift store. 
Yeah, so if you are ever in Spring, Texas, or if you're watching this channel from Spring, Texas, you probably know about this location, but I would get down here and check it out if I were y'all. Ron Lee's World of Hobo Joe signed. I've got one Ron Lee. And I don't see it in here. Mine is of a clown putting his makeup on in front of a mirror. These are running 35, 55. This is 185. Mine is probably about as big as this one right here. I'm not ever comp to mine. I just actually bought it to keep it. But Ron Lee, if you're ever looking for collectible clown memorabilia. They say everything's bigger in Texas, right? Well, this store right here is huge. Stores this massive make you appreciate the efforts of picking items for resale, whether it's on YouTube, eBay, or in stores like this. Look at this cute honeybee. Nesting dolls. Oh, look at these. Another set of honeybee net. Here's a honeybee nesting dolls. So if you are coming in for the first time, I thrift usually in Florida, but I'm on a road trip from Texas to Florida, and then in four weeks I'll head back towards Florida. And I'll thrift as well in different states going back. Russian lacquer box. I found one of these at a thrift on my way from Florida to Texas. It's a lot bigger than this one. This one's $99. Looked mine up online. It runs about $149. And it is pouring down rain. I don't know if y'all can hear that or not, but it is. Which is this lamp? Six was eight ninety nine, six ninety nine marble base to it. I've always wanted one of these mannequins. This one's one twenty five. I've seen them at thrift stores, but I've never bought one. Not sure what I'd do with it though. I guess you could use it for necklaces. So I think I am going to get this, y'all. Y'all will see this in the next live show. See what I'm talking about? This place is huge. I think the thumbnail will be just the outside of the building, but y'all really got to come into the video and take a look around. So we're getting that mannequin head. We're going to put that with Marilyn in some of the sales because I love it. I've always wanted one. Y'all already know what purse this is, don't you? I'm going to give you one guess by looking at it. y'all comment below if you know the brand of that purse i know y'all have seen it before i saw it one time not that particular one but the brand in a store and i didn't get it and i got in trouble i got in trouble for not getting it this is a crazy oil painting i think these people are setting up their booth love the creativity one thing i love about these antique booths are people's creativity. Smoked bacon. People's creativity in um, decorating. I like that, y'all. There are some creative people in this world, aren't there? Let's see here. I'm liking this. $42. Pipe holder. Look at these cute birds on this box. See, so yeah, if you ever want to get ideas of decorating, decorating ideas, just go to antique dealers. Two thousand on this, or flea markets. Let's see what these brooches. 
Oh, wow, is that a perfume bottle? Oh my gosh, it is a perfume bottle, y'all. Look at that. And I guess that's the stopper. It's missing something on top. But you can put your own spin on it, but something used to be there. That's one of those that when you look at it like this, you see all different colors. Have a couple purses. All those Victorian lamps. Oh no, a barracuda. Y'all look at this choker here. I love that. Love it, love it, love it. That choker is fantastic. And that's what I'm talking about when we're looking at jewelry. I want to find that old items and this is a mall i can already tell you right now we're still going to enjoy the time we've got here but i'm going to tell you now this is one of those malls that i will be getting the card for and i will come back to it pair of old man and old woman pictures 99 dollars great deal on that matter of fact when i go to lagrange texas at the end of june or middle of june i think i'm just going to come back by here and spend all day Red shouldered hawk, nineteen ninety five. Vintage Brahmin crossbody. This is pretty cool right here. An old gurney made. You could make this into a bar. It's not for sale though. It would be kind of cool as a bar. What is this? 1902 antique exhibit form. Prescription form. $700 for this gray fox. You're going to find all kinds of things in an antique store. Uranium glass. What kind of bug is this? A framed, that's a grasshopper. Look how pretty. Have y'all ever, has anybody ever been to this antique booth before? Not booth, store. $89.95. Like that brass bird cage. Lots we could do with that. I'll take you through these stores and we just look a little bit at a time in different places. We don't check out every every individual piece. 1898 Spanish American War.
when I venture into beautiful places like this, I'm not ever looking for any one particular thing. I'm usually looking at a little bit of everything. Artwork. Jewelry and purses are a given, but I just enjoy coming in and seeing what people have. I believe you can't have too much artwork at all. Just hang it all over from floor to ceiling. Did this used to hold a water basin? That is a gorgeous chair. Fourteen ninety-five. This reminds me of. It says red leather, but it reminds me of the. I think it's called ox blood color. That's out of England. Tufted. Love the tufted back on that. Reminds me of my sofas at home. Love how they had this set up. I didn't ever think about that. Now I have a hide under my uh, coffee table at home, but that's a great way to, for in the winter time to dress up a farm table. Twenty-three. No pigs for rent, and no goats for sale. Ran on to some earrings here. Let's check those out for a second. Roach looks Victorian. Lots of old purses. How much is this tapestry clutch? By H1, another beautiful tapestry clutch right there, solid black on the back. The rooster. Miniature portrait, I actually have a old painted sign that says love miniature portraits that I'm gonna put up in my hallway at home. Snake a coin bag. Kiss lock bag. Yes, I put it up front. I have one of these bags. It's from the 1930s. Let's see what this one is. Heavy beaded purse right there. Good condition, too. This is a little bit of a different booth right here. Some may enjoy it. Wrangling Brothers catalogs. Looks like a lot of different things in here. Huge cabinet. Is this sign really $10? If it is, I'm getting that because I love that. It's not old, but that to me is a great price and I think it's very cool. $10, I'm getting that. I don't know if I'll put that at the Airbnb or here, at, or not here at my home. I think that's a great sign for ten dollars. Another fish. Y'all know I love taxidermy. Fifteen hundred.
Y'all know where that's going, don't you? That I won't put in the Airbnb. I will put that at home. In my little home office. My home office is a lot of fun. As far as crazy decorating. Oh, well. Whoever owns this booth has a lot of crazy stuff. So we're going to walk up and down each aisle, looking around. We'll show you a few things. But again, 250 dealers. Look how large this place is, y'all. I still look for older pieces pictures and things like that to put at the Airbnb that are just unusual. <laughs> Look at this. Isn't that fun? 22. Good for the bathroom. At the Airbnb. And then you have the matching one to it. We are getting those also. That's a great deal on these. Look, 22 for both. So y'all see those at the Airbnb if you ever rent that out. Because I do still have to fill that room. 48 on that picture. Never miss a chance to sparkle. That is some of the best advice. Let's look in here and see if they have any perfume bottles. This looks like a place that might have some little, little trinket items. Lots of glassware. A booth with all of your farm home, farmhouse type decor. And those are great. Made exclusively for Lillian Vernon. I don't know if that's worth money or not. Isn't that wonderful also? If y'all don't know what that is, that's actually a napkin doll. A napkin doll. So you just put the napkins through there. Isn't that the greatest thing? If you've never seen a napkin doll before. if that's enamel I think that's probably enamel not sure if it's sterling silver or not I don't see it marked let's see you see any marking on that yeah this reminds me of a lot of Canton This is 249 antique. Look at that. You can make that into a coffee table. Just put four different wooden legs on there. Make that into a coffee table. I have a lot of old um, doors like that from a house from the 1800s. Oh my gosh. This is a metal tray. The tray looks old. Not sure if the painting is or not. But look how great that is for $69. Uh, this table was $6.99. Let's see, that's acrylic. All these 
bike lot bracelets. All over the place. Oh gosh. I don't know how much this one is. I'm going to show you something. Look at that ring. Kevin Francis face pots. Have y'all ever seen one of these and what are they used for? Look at all these. Kevin Francis. I've never ran onto any of those in a uh, thrift store before. Mid-century modern girl vase. Now back to these rings. Take a look at these huge. Looks like maybe some amber there. Super large. Let's go take a walk down this aisle. So what I do is just come in and walk up and down each aisle and look around and see if there's anything I can't live without. And just a lady and her cats. More beaded bags. Let's see. Is that sterling silver? I don't think so. But isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Something around every corner. See if we can focus on who this is. I cannot tell what that says right now, but look at this pendant necklace. Two leopards or panthers. Nineteen twenty-six, y'all. Look at this. Fourteen. Class of nineteen twenty five. Airbnb, what say y'all? Tell me below. Make sure the top doesn't come off this. So look at this tapestry bag right here. We're gonna look inside and see who the designer is. Great condition. The interior is red. And here is the brand, let's see. It's 
So it says Stylecraft right there at the bottom. S-T-Y-L-E-C-R-E-F-T Miami. I think we're going to pack that one up. So we're going to get that one. You'll see it on a Texas sale. Since we're going to be in Texas, we're going to have a couple sales from there. You'll see that in that sale. But if you email me, I'll give you a price quote. Earrings are huge. Yeah. Is that Ellen DeGeneres from the 1800s there on the left? Kind of looking like it. And until, uh, of this entire booth, let me show you my favorite. This sofa, look at that, y'all. Wow. $795. That is gorgeous. Well, this is a new way to put a spin on a new t-shirt. Just like the old Valentine's prints. So these are brand new t-shirts. How many of y'all would hold it in your hand after lighting? One time, with a friend of mine who attends the live shows, we lit up Roman candles and fired them out of the car windows while driving down the road. That's horrible, but it's a true story. And she knows who she is. She's gonna be laughing when she hears that. Now look at this right here. 75 lady head vase. What would we do with that? Deborah Lau, if you would tell you, we put a succulent in that beauty. Lady head vases are pretty popular. 12 on this one. Let's see how much this one is. $28.99. Again, true story. Do not do that at home. No Roman candles out the windows. It is not a great idea. Is not a great idea. And these lamps are eighteen ninety nine each. I'm looking at everything while running around here. Not seeing a lot of jewelry here, but the jewelry I am seeing is really pretty. Haven't seen a lot of perfume bottles. Wonder if that's sterling silver. 1950s dining room table. What were these booths called right here? I used to see them in the 1800s houses. I think it's one of those that was in the parlor. It's not a telephone booth or settee or chair. It's not a settee, but 
tell me in the comments below what this was for. I just remember seeing one in an old house in Texas. And it was where you had sat on each side and I guess talked back and forth, but I just cannot recall what it's called. Or... One twenty five. Look at this guy. Lots of taxidermy, sixteen fifty on that. I have a very old china cabinet in my home that has similar stained glass. Quite a bit larger, same style of wood too, and I love these. I would rather have an old one over a new one any day. Antique over new. See this horse here? I have a similar one at the Airbnb. That's gorgeous, isn't it? 49, vintage 1960s gold ceramic. Paperweights. Do we have any per perfume bottles? Isn't that cute, y'all? Look at that. I'm a cat. Squeeze me. I meow. Ruben's original. And on top of that, what is it? Put a succulent in it. One twenty-five. Hope y'all had a great Mother's Day. And Phyllis does have fabulous, fabulous finds. I don't know who Phyllis is, but... She does have great eye. Look at these huge doors, $7.50 each. You couldn't get that in a old restoration place for that for that price I don't think great antique gallery wedding couple 190 for the pair tapestry chairs Who says a buffet cannot be recreated into something fantastic that's 480? But I bet you ladies can do that too. Taxidermy, decorating with taxidermy is one of my favorite things to do. A couple pieces in my Airbnb and at my home. Another tapestry chair. What year were those popular? Was it the late 1800s? I guess it was, 350. So overall, highly recommend this place. Just look it up in Spring, Texas, S-P-R-I-N-G. Sold office chair, 85,000 square feet. Ladies and gentlemen,
Let's come here and check it out. $4.95 on this buffet. And look how gorgeous this buffet is. Oh, and that clock is too. So don't forget to like, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell, click all so you don't miss out on these daily uploaded videos as well as my live buy it nows of purses, jewelry, knickknacks, whatnots, doodads, and trinkets. Those are all usually on a Saturday and Sunday, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Check for that thumbnail for my next one. We'll have that. We'll probably have two in Texas. Check out this buffet. And on that note, I hope y'all had a happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there, grandmothers, stepmothers. And until next video, we'll see y'all later. Bye.